Ah! Damn it! Anyway, that's bad. That's not a U! That's a W! Ah, let's change that, shall we? Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Pokemon uh, Pearl. I didn't think I'd have to show the name rater. Because I didn't think I'd mess up. You! There you go! He's gone from being Hercules to Hercules. Yes! Alright. Anyway, in the last episode, Marvin evolved in the Crobat. And we got ourselves a new Pokemon, which is, as you can see here, Hercules. We're currently going to level 21. Hercules stats are looking quite good at the moment. Uh, it's learned Ember and Stomp uh, on its way here, which is good. Amethyst, level 22 at the moment. Uh, same stats at the moment. I really want to try and get some like confusion on it or something like that. Marvin, level 23. Look at that. And sorry, level 24. And Derek, finally. Yeah. Right. Let's put Amethyst up front. Because now it's time to, for us to leave this sort of hillbilly joint sort of thing. You get a kick. Yeah, I don't care. Right. Let's go this way. Let's go cycling. Now, this is the other way that you can get ponytails, but luckily I got it a little bit early. So that's good. Hello. Yo, having a good time cycling? Well, I, I have sort of only been cycling on this road for like five seconds, so I guess so. Anyway, Cyclist Axel has a Staravia. Staravia is the evolved form of um, Starly and evolves into Staraptor. So, yeah. Staravia is a good Pokemon. I can't say they're not. So, yeah. Let's give it a Psy Wave, shall we? We could miss. Oh, great. Great! Ah, this is gonna be fun. This battle's gonna take ages now. Psy wave, there you go. Hit a Psy wave. I wouldn't mind if Psy wave had a chance of confusing personally. But it doesn't. It it's just varies in dip varies in shots and whatever. It's like a magnitude. Only magnitudes normally hit! Yeah, Star Avia, don't be a, don't be an evasive noob. There you go, two double teams, and I still hit you with a side wave. Come on, good shot here. Yeah, there you go, Star Avia, sod you. Good. Well done, Amethyst. They're right there, and we beat Cyclist Axel. Hey, not bad, you. Well, um, you're a noob, so I don't really give a damn. Also, as you can see, uh, we actually go straight down, so yeah. Anyway, we're going to put Hercules up front now, because we have not used Hercules as of yet. Hello! I worked up a great sweat riding. I'm feeling great, let's battle. Alright. I don't know why it's always me that seems to get the battles, but I don't know. Anyway. Cyclist Megan. She's got a Shinx. Alright. I don't know why you just have a Shinx, but okay, level 17 Shinx versus Hercules. Hercules, let's kick off with an Ember attack. Luckily, I'll tell you, Hercules, Hercules was a bit of a difficult Pokemon to level up and stuff, because all it had was Tackle, Growl, and Tail Whip. Really difficult moveset to try and level up with. Ow. Alright, let's finish it off with an Ember. But once we got Ember and Stomp, it got a lot easier. So that's good. Anyway, Ember beats the Shinx. Beats the Shinx out of Shinx. And we beat Cyclist Megan. Very nice. Whew, you worked us over. It was like only two battle, two like two turns of a battle. You sort of lost a little. Anyway, you're next. Hey, watch where you're going. Or did you want to challenge me? I want to challenge you personally. Uh, yeah. What are you, Cyclist James? Ooh, you've got points as well! Bet mine's better. Yours is level 17, mine is level 21. Guess who wins? Okay, so Ponyta evolves at level 40. It evolves into Rapid Ash level 40, so... 
Uh, we've got a long way to go before that ever happens. Ah, nice flinch though from uh, from Hercules. Another stomp, and there goes Ponyta. Great easy victory there for Hercules. A lot of experience. That Ponyta's give off a lot of experience, I've noticed. That's good. My efforts are meaningless. That's true. You're next. You and I, we're both riding bikes. And you've got Pokemon. I don't want to lose to you. Why? J just, just because I have a bike and Pokemon. But, but a lot of people in this game have bikes and Pokemon, especially Pokemon. God, the amount of people that don't have Pokemon is... Well, it's a very small ratio. Alright. Kick it off is Starly. Oh, yawning. <clears throat> it's like quarter nine. That's it, not used to getting up this early. But uh, I got work later, so I have to. Wing attack. And let's ember the face! Oh, quick attack. Just get more damage off, I see how it is. Ember! There you go, there you go Starly. Nice. At least didn't use double team at least, that's good. Uh, ooh, a Ponyta. Alright. I'll take a Ponyta on with my own Ponyta, Hercules. Level 15. Two stomps should kill it. One critical hit stomp would kill as well. Nope. Ah, flinch, good. Well, we pretty much did get a critical hit because it didn't attack back, so that's good. And we beat Ponyta! Yes. Hercules, I believe, should be leveling up soon. Yes, like now. Levels up. Uh, nice attack boost. HP up three, speed up two. Nice. Cyclist Nicola defeated. Oh, geez, I seem to have fallen off my bike. Well, why don't you get off your bike just to battle me? Your bike is the type of the type that can shift gears, huh? Let me see if you know how to ride it properly. What are you gonna let me know in a Pokemon battle? What? Oh, all right. Um, okay, okay. You have Starly level fifteen. Really doesn't matter because I'm gonna ember its face. Hopefully, burn it at least. Yes. Nice, that means when you have a burn, your attack, I believe, is halved, and it does burn damage. So you can double team as much as you want, Starly, because I believe you're about to die right now. Yep. Yes. That was good. Very well played there from Hercules. Next up is a Staravia. You can stay in. I'm going to stop with Ember, I'm going to try with Stomp instead. All right, maybe maybe I won't. Let's try a stomp. See how much that does. Oh, quick attack! Nice. That does a bit of damage. I can survive one more of them. Stomp does. Uh, it does a bit, I guess. Well, let's go Ember then. Yeah. Nice. And that's a, that's a dead Staravia. Very nice. Well done, Hercules. Hercules is starting to do really well as my fire type. Cyclist John defeated. Did he just say Gra Tinkle? How dare you say Gra Tinkle, you bugger. Right. You're next. A bicycle can only take you as far as your energy will allow. And at most buildings you go into. Can't do that either. Because the professor will always talk in your head. And get in your head and sort of make you go crazy. Anyway, Zubat level 17 versus Hercules level 22. Looking like a Hercules victory here, even though Hercules has not got quite a lot of health left. Not got a lot of health. Astonish. That would have been good if I went second. Luckily, I went first. Ember to the face. And that's one beaten Zubat. Hercules wins again. So, yeah, we know uh, from Ponyta's awesomeness in my Let's Play Pokemon Stadium. I know that was a long time ago, but we know. Oh, we know. There's one. Some people compete over speed, and some compete over technique. Which kind are you? I compete over brute power, personally, um, and buffing. Oh, you mean in riding, in, in cycling. I, I really don't give a damn, personally, but oh well. Shinx level 15, coming up against a Hercules. Dun, 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 dun,
dun 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 Ember to your face, Ember to your face. Don't tackle me. Alright, tackle. Oh, we're still alive. Let's Ember again! There you go, that's one beaten Shinx. So, I may need to switch out Hercules very soon. Uh, no, I think you can beat the Shinx. Uh, Hercules? Give it a go! Attack with Stomp! Yeah! Come on! Ooh, that did a lot of damage! Well done! Well done to Hercules there for beating Shinx. There you go, we beat Cyclist Rachel. You're a speedy technician. Yeah, I'm the best of both worlds, you know. Ooh, wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't see you. Hello? Me, fight you. I love my bike. Well, I'm not good at fixing flat tires. Well, don't get flat tires then. Right, cyclist uh, Kayla. Hey, she got Pikachu. All right. Okay, so yes, you can get Pikachus in this game. <laughs> I won't. Alright, let's kick off with a stomp. Because most electric type Pokemon have not very well physical defense. I can't take a shot for crud. There you go. The only exception to the rule that I can remember is something like Ampharos. They're very bulky, but a bit slower. Anyway, that is a very good level up there. F for up three in speed, up two in everything else. Kayla defeated. Whoosh. Whatever that means. Anyway, level 23 for Hercules there. Well done. Let's leave this place. Uh, do you say anything? What's a bicycle without this? You've got a flag, it's a Pokemon accessory. Uh, uh, uh. No more fashion crud! No! We don't want any more fashion crud. Alright, so this is Route 206. As you can see, there are raspberries here. And I have noticed that since my last Let's Play of Pokemon, this one, that all the berries have really stupid names and they're sort of, you know, uh, plays on actual fruit. For example, you got the uh, Nanab, that's banana. Raz is called raspberry and stuff like that. Anyway, let's go up this way because I believe there are a few trainers that we haven't fought yet. Ooh, and a Pokeball that we haven't got yet. And it's a Burn Heal! Yay, so if we're seeing Blaine anytime soon, we're good. Well, let's go this way first. Right, so we're actually but uh, underneath the cycling road. Yeah. Rawsberries! That's, of course, strawberries. So yeah, they, they all, a lot of them have very stupid names, but... Oh, well, it's Pokemon. What do you expect? There's going to be some stupidness in it somewhere. Oh, that Pokeball over there. Oh, in a battle! They with something like a Ponyta. It is a Ponyta! Ponyta, I believe, are a lot easier to find here, but I wanted to get one early, just so I could train up Hercules. Level 23. One stomp should... I don't think it'll kill it, but I think it'll do a lot of damage to it. There you go. Growl. That's not going to do a lot, since you're going to be beaten next turn anyway by, uh, by Stomp. Stomp. To the face. Right, there goes Ponyta right there. Nice. Hercules gains a lot of experience. See, Ponyta's, uh, give a lot of experience in the wild or with trainers. Super Repel. Very nice. Repels Pokemon, I believe, for 200 steps. Ooh, there's a hiker here. I'm going to switch out and I'm going to bring Amphist into play because it's the weakest Pokemon in my main team. Apart from, of course, uh, uh, Beast. But we're waiting for the experience here for that one. Whoa, you startled me. Well, we may as well battle. Oh, well, yeah, because whenever I get startled, you know, like, for example, I get startled when I play Slender. And I always just go, man, you startled me, Slender. Anyway, let's have a Pokemon battle. All right, Onyx is up first. Level 15. Go, Amphist. <laughs> Show him the face of a victory. Let's give it a side wave to kick things off. I do not expect you to be missing any shots here, Amphist, by the way. Mostly because how can you miss a gigantic, like, 20-foot rock snake? You can't miss it. There you go, see? You can't miss a 20-foot rock snake. 
So yeah, well done Amphis on beating Onyx. Good victory there for Amphis. Amphis gains quite a bit of experience there. And another Onyx. We get another shot at Onyx. Nice. Alright, let's keep off with another side wave. Yeah! Three in a row! Amphis knows what it is. Rock throw. Luckily, Amphis' defense is actually not bad, so... Yeah, we can live that. Right, side wave again. Four in a row here from Amphis. That didn't do a lot. That's two times I believe it's done minimal damage. Rock throw. Again. Oh, and a critical hit, and Amphis still lived it. Side wave, five in a row. Am Amphis is playing the match of her... Uh, life here. Look at that. Five side waves in a row. And a level up. Deserves that level up right there. Level 23. Oh, yes. Psybeam. Psybeam has 50, uh, 65 power. Get out of here, Psywave. Psybeam has more chance of hitting. And I believe it's more powerful as well. We beat Theodore. Your power startles me. It does, doesn't it? Oh, god damn it. Come on. What are you? Oh, Cricketune. Alright. No, I'll battle this Cricketunes. Why not? Right, Amphist. Give it a Psybeam. Yeah. So, Psybeam um, does quite a lot of damage to a Cricketune. Ooh, Fury Cover. That shouldn't do a lot. One damage, if any. Fury Cut is a good move. Uh, does more damage the more times it hits. Pretty much like the rollout of bug type moves. Uh, the only problem is, Amphis is ghost type. So, and bug type moves are not very effective against ghost types. Anyway, that's one dead Cricketune right there. But yeah, they give off quite a lot of experience as well. So, this is a good place to level up if, if needed. Oh, I didn't even move anywhere. I'm in another bloody battle. This time with a Geodude. Dude, level 14. Come on out, Amphist. Give him a side beam. Right, what's that going to do? That's going to... Beat it in one shot. Nice. I will use my super repel if I need to, if this gets too tedious and annoying. Right. There anything over here? There's a Pokeball over here. Come on, it's three patches of grass. Poison Barb, right. I believe that ups the power of poison type moves, possibly. Yeah, it ups poison type moves. So I'm going to give it to Marvin for the moment, since it's... Well, it doesn't have a poison type move yet, but it will in time. That's a very good find, that is, for, for, uh, for, for Marvin. Ooh, there's a cave over here. What's in here? Wayward Cave. Ah, more parts of the Wayward Cave right there. Comes out here. That's interesting. Pokemon battle. Right, I'm gonna use Super Repel to get out of here. Ponytas. Level 15 Ponytas. Or I may just cut it here and meet you back at um, Eterna. Which is the next place we need to go, because we need to go right from there. Into our... Uh, well, I guess you could say it's our first official sort of cave area. Because really, the Ogbra Mine doesn't count, and neither does the Ogbra Trail, or the Wayward Cave for that matter. It's like, ugh, they don't really matter, I'd say. They're not really that bad. Anyway, Anthony's gains a lot of experience. I'm going to go back to uh, Eternal City, but I'm going to cut it here. So, I'll see you back here for the next part. Let's play Pokemon Pearl. Or maybe not. If you go down from the cycling road, you meet Dawn. Anyway. Hi, Master. How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm so in between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. But this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Master, choose which hand you want. Oh, God. Um, let's go left. I see. You want the Versus Seeker. I'm impressed, Master. You know what's important. There we get the Versus Seeker. I think either way you get the Versus Seeker this way. Using that Versus Seeker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Master, do you also have a Poketch? Yep, you do. You have this too, then. Use it for your hard work, Master. The Dowsing Machine! Nice, that means we can find, uh... 
We can locate unseeable items on the ground. That's quite good. Okay, let's keep working on our Pokedexes. Professor Roan is counting on us. Alright. Well, guys, I am going to go back to Eternity first. Uh, but then I'll come back here. Anyway, guys, I will see you back here for the next part of Let's Play uh, Pokemon Pearl for definite this time. I'll see you then.